And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Lucian Fury. Uh, one of my favorite decks to play, a deck that's super strong. You know, we have our uh, aggressive Demacia stuff and then we're, we're splashing Freljord for some awesome Freljord cards. We got Omenhawk, um, uh, Babbling Bjerg to always draw us a 5 plus power unit. And with our five plus power units, we have our six drop Sithria, and then Sedjuani. Another like you know main reason why we're playing Freljord, honestly, is this card right here, Sedjuani, because this card is really, really good. Um, this is definitely one of the very best champions in the game. Uh, if you start naming off champions that are better than Sedjuani, um, that list isn't going to go very far, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, you know, definitely top three. I don't know. I don't, is Sedjuani the actual best champion in the game? It may be. But anyway, um, like, it's just so big, you know, 5-6, it's just huge, it's, like, almost always removal, uh, if it levels up, then, uh, you have this ability to just completely destroy combat for the opponent, where they just can't ever do anything, because you frostbite all the, the enemies all the time, um, that's not really what this deck's doing, but other decks with, like, Warning Shot with Sejuani and stuff like that, um, or Mystic Shot, um, and, you know, and then it also has Overwhelm with it being so big. It's just incredible. Um, yeah, you think it's the highest win rate champion? Yeah, it, it probably is. It's just, it is incredible. Um, and it kind of, it's, it's kind of overshadowed. You know, like, Freljord isn't the best region. It's it's definitely one of my favorite regions, but it's not the best. But Sejuani really, really helps pump the power of Freljord up. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so Battling Bjerg is always drawing Sejuani or Sithria, two amazing cards. And then we have like this awesome pump spell to help finish out games with Fury of the North. All right, so we're gonna play some Lucian Fury, um, deck that I've basically that I've always enjoyed. And uh, get some rank back, you know. Like we're playing playing some pretty good decks today. You know, yesterday we didn't we didn't have the best day yesterday. Lost a lot of rank. We're we're, we're at like a thousand now. We started the day at like 200 something. And now we're at 1100. So we got to get that rank back. So if we got to get that rank back, then um, let's play some Lucian Fury. All right, we're just going to mulligan all of these. Look for a lower curve. There we go. I forgot this board. Let's see. So that's like usually right there. I'm going to lower the music volume on this board. This board, the music is really loud. How is that? Is that better? Awesome, Rad. You've been playing the spook Spooky Mage Seeker deck? Yeah, that's definitely a good one. I like that one quite a bit. Get him, Lucian. So, Twisted Fate, Swain. Danger paid. So I could play Fury of the North to save Lucian, or let Lucian die and level up Senna. Ouch. That's the worst case scenario. They had removal for both. Ouch, yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. If I would have gone Fury of the North, they still would have killed it with, you know, but we would have just gotten rid of a Fury instead of getting rid of a Senna. Let's just start with the Grizzled Ranger. We can double spell Senna and Lucian next turn. Jaw Hunters is so good. Such an underrated card. I play three Jaw Hunters in most of my built water decks. So good. Four one. Hmm. 
Yeah, this worked out pretty well for them. So they're up a card. They got six, I got five. We know that two of the cards in hand, two of those six are going to be sea monsters created by Jaw Hunters. Another card. In a world full of monsters, I'm glad I have you. That'll never change. So we're attacking with Lucian first. Bring in the heat. Then Senna. So that if they kill Lucian, then Senna gets the double strike. Double attack. I've whipped up something special. No, my opponent's playing Swain Twisted Fate. They have Jaw Hunters that created sea monsters. Wish our Lucian had Overwhelm. That'd be nice. Oh, speaking of Overwhelm. So we, we're not going to actually rally because we already have the attack token, so like that, that doesn't do anything. Like ten more cards in their hand. Hey, sharpshoot in. 
welcome from the the YouTube channel. Also, welcome, welcome. All right, I'm gonna turn this light on behind me. Yeah, good start to the day. Good start to the day. Sphere of the Norris were both pretty clutch. Hey, Asher. Okay, so Misfortune Draven. Kind of like what we got going on here. I definitely like Fleet Feather Tracker, Break Seal Protector. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll just keep all these. This could be good. So, yep, Agent Iowa, good start to the day. Ooh. Um, let's go. Let's go with Omen Hawk first. I'm gonna pump up those things right away. Ooh, get that Sejuani trigger in there. There we go. Five three cent is pretty nice. So the, the thing about, the reason why I don't, like, I could have just hit him for four with the Fleet Feather Trackers. I didn't need to challenge that. But the reason why I wanted to challenge it is because of Misfortune. It's not like I could just necessarily block it. Like, if they play a Misfortune, then my 2-1 can't block because of the Misfortune trigger. At least that's what I was thinking. I want to do the protector on. I kind of want to do. I want to do the protector on my attack turn. Let's just pass. Let's see what they do. Time for the main okay, that was Draven. My shield is yours. Draven's out of here. Draven down. Awesome. Recip coming in here saying, I saw your deck builds on YouTube and I reached a diamond because of them. My turn. Awesome, yeah, glad to hear. This is my opponent. Um, yeah, I'll just do some trading. A Stuff's gonna be trading anyway. That's just fine. What rank are we right now? We're we're around a, a thousand. The party has arrived. Somewhere around there. You know, this is watch your content on Twisted Vi. Man, the, that's my next deck to craft. Looks like it was a good time playing that. Definitely, yeah, definitely was. The Twisted Vi was really impressive. Um, yeah, I, I recommend that deck. That was a good one. For the Empire. The glory of Noxus. Show them what we're made of. We look to be in a really good spot. And the opponent agrees. Oh man. We got Sejuani also. Yeah, that's just over. Omen Hawk. Was a big part of that win. You know, it, it traded with their one drop, but then also made my Laurent protege a three-five to eat their three-three. You know, like that. Yeah, that Omen Hawk was great. Yeah, I think the Swain Slotbot deck 
is underrated. Because, yeah, I did really well with that deck off stream and then didn't do very good with that video. And I've just, you know, been kind of playing other stuff. I haven't gotten back to it. But, um, yeah, I thought that was a, a nice little underrated deck. Okay, another Misfortune deck, this time with Fizz. All right, we're gonna get rid of the Duelist and the Scythria and keep these two. <laughs> no, that's... You're not an idiot for trying to climb with non-meta decks. You don't, you don't need to climb with meta decks. Great part about this game, like, there's so many good decks that you can play. I mean, bas basically, every, like, it's so even. You can play just kind of anything, like, whatever whatever you like, you can play. Dude, Omen Hawk with Demacia is really good. Bleh. That's alright, that takes up their whole turn. We get four damage in. And uh, we got more protégés where that came from. So yeah, they used four mana removal on my three mana thing. Um, we got double two drop. Push back the darkness. Double spell with these two drops. The best would draw like another two drop, especially like a single combat. Okay, we'll take that one drop. That's a good one. Okay, let's see. I want that to take that. I want... This to attack. And pump up that to attack. And attack with this. It pumps up this. And this one take this. I know they could have their 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 two four can block my two two, but that's okay with me. I mean, I do need to clear room, just in general, so I don't I don't mind that dying. But you know, we'll have that be a two two that would die. So we'd have that's two things dying as far as Lucian is concerned. Fire beware! Credit denied. Um, I have I I haven't played Lucian Bannerman with my recently. That's something I've done, you know, like a long time ago. But no, I haven't tried that recently. You know, Splash Noxus for might. Every way is a path. Ugh, five seven. I think I wait till next turn and go Sejuani. Got your back. Mm. Well, I wish I would have just Sejuani that. I wish I would have just passed. Always forward. Oh yeah, because that thing has Scout. So yeah, they'll be able to kill Lucian. But it'll, it'll at least be a trade. Laurent Doulas is good. Why'd you steal my Laurent Doulas? Especially one mana? Dang. Alright, they kill my kill my Lucian. Hey, what's up, Farak? Thank you so much. And y'all a lot of new new viewers coming in today. You know, we just started the stream just a little bit ago, and that's three or four people are saying they they're just new viewers coming in here. That's awesome. Y'all are making my day. So 
If only we could... Yeah, if only the Senate had Overwhelm, right? Yeah, hard work paying off. Gotta go with the flow. Yep. Yep, I like I like dressing up nice and I like wearing ties. Sorry, plug in my phone. If y'all heard the little Microsoft sounds, that's what that was. Okay, so we're going to Hmm. We're gonna be doing doing some attack in. How do we wanna be doing that attack in? Alright, so we're gonna have. Batterum! You call this a fight? My gun does the talking. Um. I guess I'll just challenge that thing and challenge this thing. So. No one goes hungry! <laughs> There, so basically, I wanted something that's doing zero damage to the Sejuani, so I could have the Sejuani still be able to fight. But I didn't really want to do that before combat. I'll be surprised if they just take this. That's surprising they're not blocking with the 4 4 at all. Well, let's. Let's let damage happen first before single combat. And that'll give them priority again, so they can maybe spend some more mana. Yeah, they're, they're definitely like trying to. I don't know, trying to cheese me out with these elusives or something. Alright, so they spent the rest of that mana. Yeah, I don't think I have to really be that worried about Misfortune or Fizz. We can, we can do this. If I wanted to keep all the health on Sejuani, I guess I could have just fought with the 4-1. Maybe that would have been better. Keep that Sejuani health, and that would just free up a spot for like the card that I draw. Bright Seal Protector. Um, I have... Yeah, I have a lot of ties. I don't know, probably around... Somewhere around like 70. I don't have like an exact count. Okay, so they drew a Fizz. They had Misfortune, they probably played the Misfortune first. It's probably not Misfortune. There's their Fizz. Oh, yep. A little puppy nap going on over here. Looks so comfortable. There's Fizz. Yes, I have, um, yeah, I have, a, I have a desk that, yeah, it's a standing desk, you know, but then also, you know, it's an adjustable one. I just felt like standing up right now to start with, so, you know, we're standing. Alright, 3 no. See, ranking, ranking back up. Decided to play some good decks today. Um, 
And, and yeah, that's what we're doing. Playing some good decks. Getting that rank back. Hey, good job, Scrubble. You, you got to gold. Hey, that's not easy. It's not easy getting ranks in this, this game. It's, it's pretty tough. Oh well, yeah, good job. Got to gold. All right, same deck. We'll keep this start. That was like old Grizzled Ranger. Yeah, yeah, I do have a good Lucian Shadow Isles deck. Um, I will get that for you right here. It's called Lucian Ephemerals. Here you go. Yeah, basically, don't. Yeah, how do do donation decks work? Basically, oh, and this this deep sea monsters that we're playing later on is a donation deck. So I'll put the two Ds next to that donation deck. Basically, it's just a ten dollar donation, or you can use ten thousand channel points if you watch all the time, which I guess I called started calling them ties. Um, but anyway, it's uh, yeah, ten dollar donation. You just give me your list or just an idea for a deck if you would like me to build it for you and it's easy, easy as that you can tell me what day you want me to, to stream it also you know if you want me to stream it on you know like a Wednesday or whatever you can do that as well don't get in my way and that's it then I'll play play your deck when you want when you want it and then of course you know just like always everything is recorded for uh, YouTube. I'll put, post it up on YouTube as well. Um, I'm not sure how long it would take to grind to master. It take, takes a while. You know, like... Definitely weeks. I, just very rough, off the top of my head estimate. I don't know, like a, a month maybe? To grind to master? But it obviously depends on like how much you play, so you know, maybe a better term would be like how many hours. Yeah, it would, would matter how much you play and all that kind of stuff too. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, if you, if you just play a ton, I could see doing it in, if somebody says days, like, I don't know, like 10 days, if you play a ton. I don't know, a week. Maybe I'm just way off, like maybe, maybe it doesn't take that long. I don't know. A single combat. No, I don't. I mean, I basically want to just hold up single combat before I attack. That's what I was kind of more referring to. Not necessarily cast single combat, but have the ability to. Hmm. Feel the sizzle! Honor guide me. This is mercy. Go ahead, scare me. Eat up, friend. That doesn't scare me. Your path ends here. Let's see what you can do. So they're going to use Transfusion, kill my Senna, level up the Lucian, but still be blocking the Lucian. That's what it kind of looks like. I would, I'd be just fine with that, because, you know, we'd have a leveled up Lucian, and then I'd have a single combat that would be able to... Um, be able to let us rally on their turn. Okay. 
guys are going to use Transfusion over here. So that's two of my things dying for Lucian. Okay, it took two days non-stop. Yeah, yeah, uh, Topher came on in here. What's up, Topher? Yes, Topher says that, that Swim did it in two way. days non-stop. Uh, with the uh, standalone deck. Didn't kill Lucian. Definitely scared that was gonna kill Lucian. But we have leveled up Lucian. So in case Lucian dies, I want the Senna attacking second. Oh, was my mic muted there for a little bit? Dang. I was saying that this is... Sorry, I guess I coughed and I forgot to unmute. Um, I was saying that this is Lucian Fury is uh, this deck. With that Lucian and that Fury of the North. Oh, there's a chill in the air. Um, it's a quick, quick 5-0 that we've gotten so far. Or quick 4-0. <laughs> Not 5-0 yet. Doesn't know the name Laurent. Okay. Ooh, stunning the Lucian. Interesting. I thought they would have stunned. Oh, they were gonna stun the protege myself. Oh, because they got ravenous flock. All right, that's fine. That's how it goes. Ooh. That could be a good card. We could give, like, Grizzled Ranger Challenger. 
Babbling Bjergs, you know, gonna draw Sejuani or Scythria, so like we have good top end. Death is like the wind, mm. always by my side. So I could pass, they attack with Yasuo, then I Fury of the North. But if I pass and they just don't attack, then I just kind of waste my turn. Some things never done. Instead, I'm going to play the Grizzled Ranger, take the four. I guess I could block with Omen Hawk. Whatever, we'll just take the four. Now we'll give Grizzled Ranger Challenger. So it has Scout and Challenger. Well, thank you. So that's a Yasuo Steel Tempest. So we do this, that Yasuo is gone. It doesn't get, you know, they don't make another Yasuo into their deck because that spell didn't resolve. So we just took out two Yasuos. So that's pretty big. Not a hair out of place. Yeah, that's pretty big. So two Yasos are gone. I decided I should probably keep our challenger alive, uh, especially with us going to go go grab, you know, like a Sithria that can pump it up. We have these Fury of the Norse that can pump it up. We should probably keep our challenger alive. Dead. All right. Well, that challenger is dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to use a Fury of the North. Blood for Noxus. Yeah, Katarina is a really cool card. They'll never know what I really like Katarina too. Really well designed. Yeah, Katarina's not a ca card that you want to play early. It's it's like a sneak it's like sneakily like a six mana card. It's definitely not like if you playing Katarina on turn three, you're probably and putting it back in your hand, you're probably just losing too much tempo. Pain is nothing. No, Braum is easily the worst champ. Like, that's not, it's not really even close. Shen was close to Braum, champ. worst champion, but no, it's very easily. Um, you gotta believe me. It's very easily Braum right now. Like the decks that, that would play Braum are better if you don't have Braum in your deck. So they played that Will of Ionia at the wrong time. They should be doing that during combat. Like if I would have used Sejuani to challenge during combat, then use Will of Ionia then. Because their thing had Vulnerable, it's not just Sejuani having Challenger. Patience and virtue make a true sword. Bow to no one. 
And we're just going to be going straight to attacks. Next turn, have the Double Fear of the North. We'll have the Flea Feather Tracker challenge over to the side. So we'll have Lethal. They got to do stuff. And if they, like, bounce with, um, you know, Will of Ionia, then I go Fear of the North. And then if they bounce again, then I go Fear of the North again. Which, the second time, I guess, wouldn't kill him. Alright, there we go. Good old 5-0. Quick 5-0 with Lucian Fury. This deck's just really solid. Really solid. Um, yeah, I really like how Babbling Bjerg just makes it so you have, like, Scythria and Sejuani, like, every game. Because these two six-mana cards are both incredibly strong. Um, and then, yeah, you just get to do a lot of good combat stuff, like, with these challengers. You know, with Tracker and with Protégé, Duelist. Um, giving Challenger can be really cool. As we saw, we got to, like, give the Grizzled Ranger Challenger. That would have been awesome if my, my opponent had, like, the removal. But, you know, we, we could have, like, ate their 1-3 at first because it was a 4-2 because Omenhawk. And then eat... Uh, then trade with Yasuo, like that would have been great. Um, but yeah, duelist like giving giving uh, quick attack things challengers pretty nice. You know, quick attack plus challenger is good. So duelist can do. Um, and yeah, Omen Hawk is great with Demacia stuff. Fury of the North finishes games. So there we go, just a really good deck. And yeah, <laughs> after yesterday, we wanted to start playing some some real good decks. We got we got some good ones today. All right, so that's Lucian Fury. Uh, if you want a good rank up deck, nice and fast, um, you know, you like playing some Demacia, but you want a twist. You want to play the uh, best champion in the game. That's Sejuani, in my opinion. It's got to be, right? Like, who's better than Sejuani? Yeah, best champion. In my opinion. There's a lot of really good ones. But, yeah, Sejuani is ridiculous. All right. Anyway, that's it here for Lucian Fury. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.